Good afternoon, guys. It is August Young at DocSports.com, back with the NBA rundown here for Wednesday, October 30th. As you guys know, we're going to cover every single game on the board here. Uh, apologies that I have not delivered on these the last couple of days. Currently in the process of moving house. I'm sure, many of you know that is uh, that's, that can be a hassle. So we've got lots going on over here, but going to give you guys the rundown here for Wednesday, October 30th, and let's dive right in. The first game on the board here for me is the Atlanta Hawks and the Washington Wizards. Hawks laying five total at 223.5. I will actually not be giving anything on this one as I do have my first seven unit best bet of the season going on this one. I'm excited to deliver there. We've been killing it with the big plays, as many of you, uh, as many of you guys should know. Up over $30,000 for a $100 per unit bet at all time with my big plays. Uh, coming off a 2-0 NBA sweep last time out. Expecting to do damage here. We won a seven unit already this week on Monday. Had that baseball winner with the Dodgers at plus 130 on Monday. Uh, so if you do want to get access to that, there is a link down below in the description. If you're not already a client, you can click that link, get a free $60 account. And if you're already a client of Doc Sports, you know where to get it. That seven unit does go at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Right, let's blitz through the rest. LA Lakers, Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs laying four and a half, total 226 and a half. Have the Lakers 4-0 against the spread so far this season. You have LeBron, he's a... Uh, you know, playing back in Cleveland is always a fun thing. However, you know, he's not had much success against the spread as a Laker. I do like what I've seen from their offense at times. Austin Reeves is a gamer. Um, uh, LeBron, though, back in Cleveland is only 40% ATS. Both teams actually sit at 4-0 four, four against the spread this season. I do trust Cleveland a little more based on what I've seen. Small value on them at 4.5 here. I also like the under at 226.5. Gonna go Boston Celtics at the Indiana Pacers. Boston laying six and a half total at 235 and a half. Boston 4-0 straight up and 3-1 against the spread. Generally gonna be overvalued already at this part, part of the season when, when lines are adjusting for a team that's 4-0 and 3-1 and against the spread. I think that's the case here. You know, Pacers they've covered in two straight in the head-to-head -head matchup. They've actually covered in five of the last six in the head-to-head -head matchup. Hard to win by more than seven on the road in this league, especially in conference play, especially with a team with some superstars that could sit out. Uh, I'm going to lean paces here at six and a half. Now, Toronto Raptors at the Charlotte Hornets. Hornets laying six, total 224 and a half. Do not love the injury report here for Toronto. Scotty Barnes has now been listed as out. Charlotte one and two on the season. They did lose their home opener. But I like them to roll here. I have value on Charlotte at six. Detroit Pistons, Philadelphia, 76ers. Philly laying four, total at 220. I made this number spot on when it comes to spread. Um... You know, especially how Philly have struggled without PG and Joel Embiid. I know they got the road win last time out. They were eight-point underdogs there, but I don't think we can rely on them really to win games, especially with margin without those two in the mix. Not really interested in the side. I don't mind the under here, though, at plus, at, at 220. Now, New York Knicks, Miami Heat, Knicks lane one, total at 215. Both teams with underwhelming starts to the season made... Both the spread and total generally accurate in this, but if I had to lean with a side for me, it's going to be the Miami Heat. I like Eric Spolstra. Miami have won five straight in the series at home. Actually won 11 of the last 13 in the head-to-head -head series at home. Hard to make them a dog in this spot, I guess, even though my numbers have it accurate, but if I have to lean aside, Miami Heat plus the one, you can take the money line. Now Orlando Magic at the Chicago Bulls. Magic minus five and a half, total at 229 and a half. I like Orlando here with the points. Uh, laying the juice. Um, they they played better basketball, in my opinion, to start the season. Chicago Chicago have had a couple big road wins, which is the reason I think this is a little closer than it should be. Has them slightly overvalued, but you know th this team have looked a mess defensively. Uh, they really have, despite winning two of their last three. Uh, Orlando should be able to expose that, so I like the magic here at minus five and a half. There are some fives out there as well. Now, Brooklyn Nets at the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis laying 11 and a half, total at 226. I think Memphis roll in this one if Ja Morant plays. That's the key. He's currently listed as questionable. Will be something we need to watch. I would wait closer to game time there. Um, I really don't rate this Nets, team, this Nets team. I've talked about it. I think blowouts are going to be commonplace for them. Uh, if Ja plays, give me Memphis minus 11 and a half. And I also like the over at 226. Could also look at taking the Grizz uh, team total over as well. Now, San Antonio Spurs, Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder lane 12, big number. Total at 220. Now, we talked a little bit about overvalued earlier with the, with the Celtics. Definitely the case here for OKC. I like this team. I think they're primed to have a, a very big season. But, you know, they're 3-0, both straight up and against the spread. They're taking on a Spurs team that, that should be improved this season. And they're 1-2 straight up and against the spread. Just a huge number. At least San Antonio can play some form of defense. 
to a decent level, which is which isn't commonplace in this league. So I got small dog value at plus 12 with the Spurs. Now, New Orleans Pelicans at the Golden State Warriors. Warriors laying two and a half, total at 219. I'm actually surprised to see Warriors laying points here with Steph out. They did beat him last night by 18, but that's just one game. This is a massive overreaction. I mean, they were dogs in that one. Uh, and now we're moving the line four points. I'm going to fade the market here. Take the Pels. Buy low spot for them at plus two and a half. Paul and Trailblazers at the Los Angeles Clippers for our last game here. Clippers laying eight and a half. Total at 219. Clips are three and oh against the spread. Despite having no Kawhi. That's impressive. However, back to the selling high, you know, buying low situation. Theme of this video, it seems. I'm going to stay true to that here. My numbers have some value on the Blazers. It's an ugly one is an ugly play there but i made the the number closer to seven and a half so i do have value on the portland trailblazers at plus eight and a half hope you guys enjoyed the rundown hope you find some value in it i'll try and be back tomorrow as well we have football releases coming tomorrow also my live show with griffin murphy tomorrow we have x's and o's uh full free football picks coming out on that one as well for some of the biggest games of the week thank you guys for watching this is august young at docsports.com see you guys next time